Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share, share with you what happens to your body when you're under a state of stress. Now before I share with you the physical, mental, emotional uh, toll that stress takes on your body, I want to share with you a few specific facts that really put in, kind of shed light on uh, the epidemic we have with stress, specifically really more in first world nations and first world countries such as America, Canada, Australia, UK, uh, Europe, and, and we, we really, uh, ha stress is more of a problem, surprisingly, in first world, uh, first uh, world developed countries as opposed to third world uh, countries, and I believe that's because of uh, the economy and the stress placed on us uh, to some degree by institutions, uh, whether it be government, corporations, uh, schools, whatever it may be. So uh, it's a very interesting topic. Stress is something that I've really done a lot of research into and uh, I've really found a lot of ways in my life to reduce stress and uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that and grateful to say that I'm really not that stressed of a person even under you know stressful circumstances, quote unquote. So uh, there's a few interesting things you should know about stress. First things foremost, uh, 60 to 80 percent of primary care doctor visits are due to stress. Yet only three percent of those visits to the doctor are treated, are actually given stress management or stress uh, relief practices or tools or techniques. Meaning, the majority of doctor visits are visited because of stress. Yet only three percent you know, a very minuscule percentage are actually given stress uh, relief protocols and techniques and tools. Uh, it's also interesting to know that 42%, 42%, almost 50%, almost one out of two Americans lie awake at night not getting sleep because of stress. So 42% of Americans uh, suffer from uh, you know, not falling asleep and not getting sleep because of stress. So it's obvious that stress is a huge epidemic if you've ever visited you know, your primary care doctor, or you've ever, you know, lied awake uh, at night, uh, you know, because of stress, uh, you know, there's a good chance stress is affecting your life. And if you just put those two statistics together, uh, you, and you start to do some math, you realize that uh, the majority of Americans, probably 65, 70%, uh, or more actually, uh, are really experiencing stress on a level that is not healthy and is not beneficial to your health and well-being. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to share with you how stress affects your body uh, when you're stressed. So first things foremost, it really affects everything from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. I mean, literally it affects your whole body, which is interesting because you can eat uh, junk food or you can do something else that is not healthy. It may only affect your digestive system or your heart or your brain, uh, and it's more targeted in its poisonous uh, effects on the body. But really, stress is a poison that hits you from your head to your toe, and it really affects your whole body negatively. So in your brain or in your head, uh, ADD, ADHD, irritability, uh, panic attacks, anxiety attacks, uh, you know, uh, just not performing cognitively the way uh, you can, uh, just really being out of it, zoned out, uh, stress, you know, anxiety, ADD, ADHD, like that, those things I already mentioned, uh, those really, uh, you know, it really affects you cognitively, the way you think, the way you feel, mood disorders, uh, how happy you are, how sad you are, uh, typically, you know, being sadder when you're stressed and more depressed when you're stressed, uh, just really not feeling happy, not feeling like yourself, uh, being easily distracted and being easily just not present, not in the now moment. Uh, so cognitively and within your brain chemistry and brain health, it really affects uh, your brain health and you know your brain, uh, you know, well-being. Uh, you can also have a grinding of the jaw when you sleep. That stress and tension causes you to kind of tense up and grind your teeth at night, which will affect your your teeth. Uh, it affects your heart rate, typically heart rate, your heart rate will increase when you're stressed, uh, your blood pressure uh, going up, your heart rate going up, uh, and just uh, which actually puts you obviously at risk for uh, cardiovascular disease, stroke, heart attack, things of that nature. Uh, next we have the digestive system. Your digestive system is easily disrupted by stress and it's very common to have uh, uh, digestive kind of irritability, uh, discomfort, bloating, uh, really just your ability to digest food and your immune system, which is located within your gut, decrease substantially while under stress. So your ability to digest food and effectively uh, you know, process nutrients 
and ex uh, dispose of, of toxins and, and petrochemicals and pollutants and things of that nature uh, decreases dramatically as you're under more stress. So your digestive system becomes way less effective and your immune system becomes way less effective, which also means that you are less effective uh, and able to uh, fight bacteria, infections, diseases, parasites, uh, you know, even cancer and, and all these different things that your immune system uh, fights and protects your body from, your immune system is less able to do that and because you're under stress. So your digestive system, your, your cardiovascular system, this whole mid-region as well. And then going through the rest of your body, uh, fibromyalgia, joint pain, muscle tension, uh, really just tightness and weakness within your muscles, joints, tendons, ligaments, uh, really anywhere throughout the body, whether it's your hands, your elbows, your shoulders, your back, uh, your knees, your legs, your feet, uh, anywhere throughout the body. So you're going to feel more weakness, uh, tension, and tightness, and you're just not going to feel good. So I mean, if you really look at that full picture of what stress does to your body and the, the ways that stress affects your body, it literally affects your brain, your, your whole cognitive process and processing your cardiovascular health and cardiovascular well-being, your digestive health, digestive well-being. Oh yeah, and I also forgot, it affects your sexual health and well-being as well because what it does is it actually decreases your sex drive. So, uh, which has to do uh, also with your kind of creative, uh, your creative spiritual side. So you tend to have a lower sex drive but not be as creative and as inspired as well, which obviously, you know, stress is kind of the opposite of inspiration and being inspired when you're stressed. You're not creative and inspired, you just you kind of close up and close in. So uh, decreased sex drive, uh, you know, muscle tension and weakness, uh, and it really just affects your whole body from head to toe. So uh, there's a really cool infographic sharing all this information with a little bit more information of how stress affects your body. Uh, obviously, I shared a lot with you here today in this video, but the infographic is really cool because it shows the body from head to toe, and it points to the specific areas of the body and showing you the specific effect stress has on your body. So that infographic, along with more information, on how stress can impact and influence your health and well-being uh, is at the article right below this video, so make sure to click that and read that and check that out. And uh, I'm going to be making more videos here on this channel about stress reduction techniques, therapies, tools, and practices that you can engage in in your life to reduce stress and really just uh, not allow stress to affect you as deeply, but then also have tools and techniques uh, to reduce and relieve and kind of let go of that stress you already have in your life. So it's a big topic uh, and a lot of, you know, obviously a lot of people are negatively impacted by stress and it's something we don't need to let impact us and influence our health and well-being and, and mind, body, and spirit in a way that it has been in the past because we have a lot of tools, techniques, and practices that we can use on a day-to-day -day basis and there's also a lot of different mindset things and, and tools that you can use as well. So I'm going to be sharing those with you uh, probably in the next video. Actually, I'll be creating a, a video with a long list of ways that you can reduce stress, different practices, tools, and techniques, as well as many different more strategic practices in the future uh, in future videos as well. So uh, that's it for this video. My name is David Benjamin from HealthyWildandFree.com. You can visit my website right below and click that article as well as uh, we're on Facebook as well, facebook.com forward slash healthywildandfree. Please like this video to show your support. If you learned something new, like, favorite, comment, and share. Leave your comments below. Uh, share this video with your friends and family. Stress is something that really impacts and influences all of us to some degree or another. And we really need to take proactive steps to understanding and being aware of, hey, stress is not a good thing. And we need to actively, just like we actively eat nutrition and organic foods and, and exercise and do things of that nature, we need to actively do things that prevent and reduce stress in our life as well. So thanks a lot for your time. Like, favorite, comment, and share this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free. Have a great day. Bye.